Uh, hello, everybody. Here we are at Chess Stars Contest Weekend Rematch Sunday, and we have the rematch of yesterday's draw. So anything can happen. Today could white go for white, go for black, or if it's draw, then we go to Armageddon. And we have international master Orkan Abdullah from Azerbaijan versus Grandmaster Alexander Vornik from Ukraine. And to announce, we have Chess Stars President Sasha Star, Chess Coach Michael Hoffer, and on Espanol, the fantastic Victor Mago. Welcome. Thank you very much, Marty. We are about to start a very, very interesting and... Um, um, difficult to predict game. Um, <laughs> Abdullah is playing white, and uh, I have a feeling that he will play for a win, to win the match. And uh, Michael, what do you think? Totally agreed, and a good chance we're going to see an Aliakin's defense today. Uh, it will be interesting to see which uh, Alexander Bortnik we see today. He played brilliantly two weeks ago, or a week ago, and yesterday kind of lackluster. So with all the marbles on the line, this is going to be a great match. Yes, Victor, what do you think? Este, bueno, me parece que, que Aduló, bueno, sí, ahí está, E4, va a luchar por la, por la, por la victoria. Eh, es muy común aquí la, la, la defensa de Kine por parte de eh, Bornit. Eh, creo que, que eso es lo que vamos a estar viendo. Eh, otra cosa, bueno, ahí está la defensa de Kine, muy, muy común. Y bueno, aquí no sé qué va a elegir Aduló. Eh, podría estar jugando muy clásico con E5. Y cada vez tres, que también es una variante interesante. Vamos a ver cómo, cómo se dan las cosas. Este E5, bastante clásico, muy bien. Caballo D5 es una jugada súper obvia aquí. Eh, ¿Cómo saliste, Mike? ¿Cómo saliste? Yo, yo pensaba que podía estar jugando... Eh, yeah, we're not going to see anything en news until move four. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of opening. Although there are some interesting hints, c4 and even h3. However, d4 now is the first hint for sure, and it was played. Okay, now there is a choice d6 or well, he's going to play d6, and then the question is, will uh, Orkin play c4 or knight f3? I prefer c4 in the exchange variation, but the Baku boys tend to play knight f3 here. I think you're right. Yeah. Victor, what do you think? No sé, yo creo que va a capturar, va a jugar una posición más, más tranquila. Vamos a ver qué sucede. Eh, inicialmente, bueno, caballo F3, interesante movimiento. Eh, una posibilidad allí bastante lógica. La captura muy, muy, muy lógica. Aunque Bordina juega, le gusta este tipo de esquemas con, con alfil F5. Quien quita que lo juegue. Bueno, pegan por. Y vamos a ver aquí, el caballo por parece muy lógica, creo que va a ser la jugada, y bueno, C4, no sé, puede ser, no me parece tan del todo convincente. Vemos aquí que salió Edgar Rivas, solo de Michel, con Mikey Hofer, Sacha, Marian, Jesús Marín y Nenar Robul, son los que van eh, de primero ahí, no sé, G6, G6, me suena G6 a Bornit. Vamos a ver. Uh, C6. Bueno. Vamos a ver allí qué pasa. La verdad que no me está yendo bien, Martín. No me está yendo bien, Mike. ¿Qué me cuentas, Mike? Dime. Mystery 2 is the main line, and that's what Orkin played. I went with what Gadir played against uh, Bortnik, which was Knight D2, trying to steal the whole pool, but we're in the main line. And now Bishop F5. I took a risk I shouldn't have taken. Ooh. Oh, right. this, uh, it was played actually. You should have five. Oh, the first thing is G4. That's, it's um, played quite a bit actually, but I think Orkin will castle. Yeah, yes, he did. G6, no, Gallo de 7 me gusta más al estilo de Borne. En este punto. El que arriba salió disparado, vale. Muy, muy bien. A ver, B de 7, vamos al estilo de Bornit. Y bueno. Tú lo das, tú lo. Um, I don't know, if Knight of 3 or F4? Knight of 3. 
Yeah. It's kind of a strange move, isn't it? Yeah, you develop knight on e5, then you move it backwards. Uh, and what still has slight advantage according to the hints? Yeah, yeah, White's definitely trying to win. Yeah, he tried to keep uh, to keep uh, pieces on the board. Is it time for c4 now? Yep. Field d3, no creo. No me parece esa field d3. Ah, c4, muy bien, mucho más. Clara, ¿no? Cabal C7, cabal F6. Me gusta cabal F6. De verdad que sí, parece más indicada. Well, bravo to Edgar. He's had every move right. Mm -hmm. This year he slept through I'm one. Busted. And I took a risk I shouldn't have taken on one. So that's interesting. See how long this goes on. Yeah, hey, gotta say Bishop D6 are like for sure. Oh! No, Arkin well, goes that inch four. Wow! Jesus Marie, que golpe. Muy bien, muy bien. Terry ahí, bueno, le quitó alguito. Bueno, el field G6 parece muy normal. Vamos a ver qué sucede. Bueno, el field G6, wow, solo. Muchos pensaron en esa jugada. Well, very important. And Jesus Marin got 944 right. pounds. And Terry here, 236. Congratulations to winners. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Booyah. Yeah. Really? Very well done. Yeah. Way to go, Erky. <laughs> Jesus Diaz, Fernando Osorio, vamos, vamos. And Jesus Diaz won 600 crowns. Congratulations. Well done. Muy bien, caballo C3, jugada bastante, bastante clara. Wow, we're out of book. Really? Wow, we are out of book. That's amazing. Really? Huh. And, and it appears to me that White, White has a pretty good game. Yeah, no doubt about it. <sighs> Should he grab that thing? Right? Why not? Why not? Yeah, bag the bishop. Another hint is g3, which I don't quite understand. Yeah, I don't get that at all. And even h3, which I still don't get either. What can, what can take on g6 without any problems? Yeah. Totally Very logical. natural move. Very natural move, for sure. Oh, I did find a game. Lasutkov Ivanov. No, I Ivanov. <laughs> uh, 2014. And they takes G6 was played. Bueno, no sé. Orkan está pensando bastante, May. Me parece que acabé porque se ve bastante adecuada, ¿no? Simplemente. Eh, Ya se enrocó, no va a haber problema con la columna H. Pero así que de doblar del peón y darle a la pareja de alfiles debe ser la decisión correcta, a mi parecer. Pero bueno, Orkan está pensando, algo se le está ocurriendo a, al gran Orkan. Vamos a ver si este nos sorprende con algo. Y vemos la tabla, Mikey, Mikey Hoffer en el primer lugar. Edgar arriba lo sigue de cerca, Yuri Solonichenko, el gran maestro también bastante aproximado ahí a Edgar, Jesús Marian, Jesús Marín, Sacha y Maxi León, Maxi León que bueno, tenía, ayer no lo vimos casi del Conte, ¿no? no estuvo muy activo vamos a ver si ahora es diferente Orcan pensando bastante Mike ¿qué crees que esté pensando Orcan? a mí me, me, me hice una jugada ahí extraña, a ver si bueno si, si la pego Pero bueno, porque tengo pocas, pocas fichas. Tengo menos 156. Bueno, well, I really like knight g6 here, because there is no way you can sustain your knight on h4 for long. Right. So you, you will have to do it sooner or later, and I don't see a lot of useful moves. What is it? h3, rookie one. Totally They're agree. They're not useful. Totally agree. So why is he thinking? 
And it's disturbing to me because I totally agree with you. That knight cannot live on h4. So. No, because any move is a knight from f6 anyway, or even knight h5, and um, you have to exchange. Mm. Okay, what else? Uh, now rook e1 is very close choice, and rook c1. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe that's playable. But I think still natural choice is knight takes g6. But we'll see very soon what's happened. So you, you think that we are out of the book already? No, I actually found one game. Oh. But it's a very obscure game. Yeah. It's not kind of a game like uh, Capablanca last year. No, is uh, Los, Los Kudov 2380, Efanov 2102, Barn Noir 2014. I don't even know where Barn Noir is. So Barn Noir is uh, in the um, eastern part of Russia. Oh, okay. Very good. It was a draw after 55 moves. But, mm -hmm. uh, I think White has a clear edge here right now. Well, Abdullah is definitely taking his time uh, so early in the game. Um, well, what do you think he is? I think there's only two moves that make sense. Rookie one and knight takes g6. What other move is there? I, 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 this is not a position where you should be thinking. Orkin has mismanaged his time in the past, and uh, he, he did great yesterday. And yes. he's got a great position now, so wh why is he thinking? This is like the only way he can sabotage himself. <laughs> Unless yes. he has a brilliant combination we don't see, and I don't think there is one. Because the, the pieces are pretty uh, clearly stated here. Yeah. Um, he, may need, he may need time later on in the game, and he will not have it, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Victor, what do you think? Bueno, realmente no sé qué está pensando tanto el amigo Duro. Claramente la, 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 la elección es tomar la, la pareja de alfiles y doblarle el peón. Ahí está, oh, mira, es muy, muy lógica. Y bueno, va a tomar de H, no, no, no tiene otra captura que tenga ningún tipo de interés, me parece a mí. Va a tomar de H. Ok, so far so good. Bueno, todo se mantiene ahí y ahora sí hay una, una gama de jugadas que, bueno, vamos a ver cuál sería la más adecuada, ¿no? Alfil F3 es muy, muy interesante, me gusta esa jugada tan interesante, de verdad. Quincy H3. Two is, H3. Quincy 2 is playing the game we were talking about from Barnoal. But, uh, wow, there we go. I went with Ricky 1, Bishop F3 is pretty much same idea, I think. Excelente golpe ahí, Vargas y Jesús Marín. Muy lógico, muy lógico. Me gusta, vale. Uf, torre 8, no winners. No winners. Oh, yeah, I was just about to enter ah, it, seriously. Muy, 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 muy rara, muy rara decir verdad. Torre 1, me imagino que debe ser el movimiento, pero yo siempre voy a tratar de jugar algo un poquito... Diferente, a ver si, si pego un golpe más y me pongo ahí en, en órbita. Well, I think for sure they'll get rookie one, right? Yeah, it looks to me reasonable move. It's funny, 98 was a, a what the hell? Wow, no winners. Oh. Wow, back to back, no winners. That's bizarre. That's fantastic. Now, now that's a common move when... when that's a common move when Black Fianchetto's in the Alleykins, but not when he hasn't fianchetto There's no need to make that move. So uh, that's really weird. Weird, strange choice. Now what to do? Very interesting. Knight F8 is by far the first thing. Knight F8. I would wonder if he wouldn't move that knight to B6. Yes, and that's what I thought the right approach. Nadie va a jugar caballo C8, por el amor de Dios. Alright, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to risk my lead on this too, which is really dumb. 
Yeah, <laughs> this is why I screw up these contests, putting 100 crowns when I'm in the lead. No, there, Yeah, that's what I just did. I put 100 on knight b6, and now Stockfish is wanting to agree. But uh, I think I put too much on this. I just gave Jesus an open door. Well, see, the problem, if you don't put 100, then <laughs> your uh, competitors will do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, they have to. Right. They it's will, easy for uh, them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a dilemma, yeah. Yeah, it's very difficult to get him to leave and then to preserve it even more difficult in a period. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Pareciera que es un solo movimiento, Mike. Solo movimiento, da más a cinco, ¿no? Además, no sé, se ven, la caballo que se ve muy, muy extraña, ¿no? No, ¿no? no pareciera tener un sentido tan claro ese caballo de seis. Y bueno, buscar la rotura C5 no está tan sencillo, por ejemplo, con un torre C8. Eh, quizás un alfil F8 buscando E5, ¿no? Podría traer también más, 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 más acorde. Pues. O alfil B4 buscando E5 para tratar de liberar un poco las piezas, que veo muy, muy incómodo a bordir. Y este tipo de posiciones me parece que, pese a que Benjín de esa valoración tan baja, es posible que, que, que las blancas puedan apretarlo. Porque la, es muy incómodo el, la ubicación de las piezas mmm, negras. Oh, my. Así que bueno. Oh, my. He might put Queen A5. Wow. Okay. Well, it's good to see Yuri and Sasha uh, towards the bottom part of the leaderboard right now because I know you guys are going to put some heat on me. And mm -hmm. uh, Jesus Marin with 11.33. Edgar Rivas, always dangerous. 9.33. Marion Tudorosh, always dangerous. 9.10. Yuri Solo Dovnetchenko, 8.37, Jesus Diaz, 7.12, Sasha Star, 5.27, Vargas Nejo, 3.89. ¿Dónde está Victor Mago? Aquí. <laughs> Menos 185 crones. Pero tranquilo que en el conte siempre hay chance de recuperarse. Y bueno, eh, tienes que ganar, Mike. Tienes tiempo sin ganar un conte. Yo creo que, que debes ganar un conte. Y bueno... El pasado, el ayer, ayer fue increíble, increíble, Mike. Todos los últimos contes, vas adelante, tienes un dominio total y de repente en último momento. Yep, 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 yep. 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 And just as I said, there goes Jesus. Wow, that's a good I totally screwed increíble. up on that. Increíble. Yeah, and now I know how to handle this. No problem. All right, A3 is coming. I think. Well, wait, wait, maybe not. There are a bunch of other hints. Look at that, even C5. It's going to be A3, man. C5, I don't think Abdullah will ever play C5. It's so yeah. antipositional. No. no. Man, I'm dumb. Yeah, A5, Queen A5 was uh, pretty obvious. He's I like the type 96 more. He's got nice. I like it better too, but uh, for certain other reasons, Queen A5 was obviously going to be the choice. And they got a big payoff on that too. Wow. Okay. I now feel like I'm on even ground. Hmm. I'm okay. not so sure what white should do here. Look at what would be see. Hmm. Very interesting. Actually, the more I look at it, the more I like C5. <laughs> what a dreadful idea. A3. Right. Oh. A3. Oh. Now we're going to see Queen F5. Yep. Agree. Oh, I'm t too busy talking. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, our friend Nenat Raguri is up on the board. I think uh, probably he guessed right on uh, Queen A5. No bueno! Increíble! Una jugada muy, muy natural. All right, 9 h 5 5 yeah. 5 interesante e 5 muy muy interesante ah 
Ah! He fought with Interesting. Freddy. Yeah. So, muy interesante, E5. I think D5 is coming. Yeah. Okay. Well, E5 is actually good news for everyone involved in the contest and watching today. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, there are some other ideas like B4 or even Bishop E5, right? Yeah, Bishop on E3 might be not uh, the best, best piece here, but D5 is very natural. Yeah, the, the Orkin shouldn't be thinking again. <laughs> he moved real fast with Bishop G3, and I'm not so sure if that was a good idea. But yeah, it's kind of an obscure piece now on G3, yeah. not, not doing that great. But D5 is as natural as a baby's smile. Yes, I like it more and more. And in fact, after G5, I think white will have a slight advantage. Yeah. Torre Uno, we have to play Torre Uno. A a long time ago. I don't know, a long time ago. He should have played that, I think. Which one? Rookie one. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised that it hasn't been done. Even like moves A3, Rook B1, those are somewhat strange moves. Yeah, and Rook B1 is going to uh, prove to be a uh, totally worthless move as this game goes on. Yeah, why, why he ever decided to do this move? Well, he wanted to play B4 at some point, but it um, um, doesn't feel right for some reason. Okay, what happened on the leaderboard? Okay, D5 was played, of course. And now, now Blood probably should take. Yeah. Although maybe E4 is well worth to investigate. Definitely worth investigating, yes. Actually, it's now uh, tied uh, for first in this uh, pawn takes on D5. Okay, Victor, what do you think about this position? No, I'm not sure. Sacha, estoy aquí indeciso, indeciso, ¿qué se va a jugar? Me parece ahí un poquito difícil ahí ahora la posición. De verdad que no estoy seguro. Pero un poco, bueno, no la aposté. Bastante más o menos clara. Y bueno, se va a estar tomando. Aquí se de caballo. Me gusta, me gusta, me gusta, me gusta. Al fin también la toma parece interesante. Voy a probar suerte con ella. Pero de caballo debe ser bastante lógica, ¿no? Tenemos aquí Jesús Marín, el que arriba, Nena Trubul, Mikey, Neo, Marián, Solo Michelenko y Montero. Van ahí poco a poco entrando en el grupo de la punta. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. ¿Qué crees? Que cabe por de 5, no sé. Torre C8, voy a apostar yo, Mike. Voy a ver qué pasa ahí. Yeah, Nenad's doing very well today, isn't he? Well, he did very well yesterday, and uh, yeah. he's doing very well today. Well done, Nenad is very talented at uh, guessing the moves. E4, parece que bueno, Adulo está muy, muy bien. Borni, aquí bueno, el caballo por la siete intermedia parece interesante, pero bueno, no se hizo. Aposté yo voy para abajo, ya lo que me quedan son cinco crumbs. Ok, interesting position, and uh, Spring Black is very close to equal life. Oh, so, bravo, Michael Foster, and Mike is still on. 219 from the Joseph Daniel Referrer, 
Cecina Kraunas veikta un ir lieši uz to uveļu. Tas mērķi kā mani Kraunas un Lona Alva ir daudz. Wasn't hard to find that one. Why not Night C7? What's the problem with this? Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing. Huh. Wow. Night C7. I don't see it. I'd do it. I'd say, show me. Yeah. Let's not be so scared. I guess it's hitting the coin. There is also H3 is a hint. Yeah, he's not going to play H3. He might play Knight E3. That's probably the move I should have chosen. Yeah, Knight yeah, E3 is probably the right move. Knight E3, but you know what? It's so pity to give up uh, the Knight to 7 idea where you clearly win exchange. However, yeah, I mean, obviously Black will get on to play of all kinds. Including some nasty moves like rook g8. Yeah. Yeah, but still it's a first hint. Well, I impetuously chose it, and I kind of wish I had gone with knight e3, but maybe Orkin will be brave here. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 me gusta, no, 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 I bet he does it now because he's thinking so long. Well, but you see, Michael, uh, in, in all fairness, after knight e3, let's see if Black will play queen e6, what else? And then, uh, how white will look to uh, any advantage? Yeah, good points. 97 is also far from, from the clear, uh, but at least, um, at least, I mean, it, it, it's a good attacking move for all reasons. Yeah. And it will lead to him actually uh, getting that rook from B1 to D1. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, uh, yeah, okay. and, and Black's going to be forced into putting his rook on B8, like Orkin's dumb rook. So... Orkin does gain a rook out of this, a better rook placement. Rook e d8, queen b3, and then rook b8, and then Orkin can play rook b d1 and uh, save his sick rook while making Bortnik's rook sick. Yeah. I like that. So now queen b3, obvious. Yeah. yeah. What else? Okay, and... Um Yes, it's done, so now probably rook b8. You're not going to give up your pawns yet. Yeah, this, this was a great sequence for white to fix his position and give black a little bit more uh, uneasiness here. Okay, now we have to read why for some reason the first hint is h3. That's all white has nothing better to play than h3. Really? Watch, watch Orkin screw me here and put Rook FD1. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes! Way to go, Orkin. All right. <laughs> nice. All right, Bishop C5. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> wow. And now the knight said his job and he can go back to D5. Yeah, it will happen sooner or later. Uh, the first thing now is a6 for some reason. That's not going to gonna happen. There we go. Uh, bishop c5, it was obvious move. And I'm back in the league. Yay. Nice. Nice. And Jesus Marin there. Edgar Rivas, Nino Drabulia, Matsileon, Sasha Star, Montero, and Vargas. Yeah, it's a nice field. Yeah. Again, h3 is the move here. Why? Why H3? The, the Stockfish loves that move all day. Yeah. All right. I'm going to temper my expectations here. And I'm going back to knight d5. He might play queen c2. What else is there? He could go knight b5. Um, 
Okay, uh, I, I like both moves, Queen C2 and Knight D5. Yeah. What I don't understand is even Queen C3. What I don't understand H3. Oh, yeah. it's no longer in the hands anyway. No, every time it's popped up, it's it's been. Uh, it just seems like a move Stockfish likes to make, and humans like to make that when there's a threat of Bishop coming to G4. But Stockfish likes to make it at random times. I guess the heuristics give it. Uh, Marty would know better than I, but it's probably to get King Loofed. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Reasonable. Yeah, to keep the knights out of G4, probably. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Marty. Now, I'd like to thank Orkin if he'd make a move and not lose on time. Because he's got, he's got great chances here. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Orkin has a pretty good position. Uh, no weaknesses. Doesn't like D5. I like it more and more. Ah, oh, Queen C3. Okay. Now I see why you thought so long, at least. Mm hmm. Man, wow, somebody well, could have gained a lot of points on that, but I guess. Well, uh, it appears okay. It appears okay. He prefers B4, but, uh, but I think Black is okay now here. Yeah, he's going to exchange a set of rooks. Sure, why not? Let's put it on 100, Mike. It's 100. There's a hundred. That's for sure. But don't you think that knight c6 is also a reasonable move to prepare exchanges and uh, fight for a d4 square? It's reasonable, but he's not going to do it. Yeah, because, because it, it opens uh, bishop g on g3. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I think rook, rook takes d1 is probably the best. Uf. Realmente, bueno, Mike, volviste el primero, excelente ahí, Mikey, Nenagro Bulls, Jesús Marín, Edgar Rivas, Masi León, Javier Marino, Sacha Star y Yuri Solo de Michenko. Bueno, bueno, todo por de uno, no sé, no sé. Caballo de tres parece interesante, pero Lenjin como que no le gusta el, el caballo de tres, Mike. No sé. Well, I better be right on this because we know Nainod's going to be right on it. <laughs> muy, muy cómodo me parece la posición de... Okay, finally it's done. Well, I think Rook G1 is obvious move. Yeah. Bueno, I think that he will think a little bit more, just to be careful, that there will not be any issues in F2. I imagine that the Lord will think a little bit before taking it. It's not that he's sure that the Torre de 1 will be a good move, but simply that he's waiting for the good to be able to take it. Yeah, that's true. 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 And then Black will play Knight EG4. Oh no, Bishop D1 became his first king. Can you believe that? No parece logica, Satan. No parece logic, Moy. Wow, and he's thinking. Oh boy. So you have to do it. Very, very, very. I will jump on the open file, man. That's just me. I don't even hesitate. If he will take with a bishop, then knight d3 becoming available, no? Yeah, it uh, just seems crazy. What the hell is he thinking about again? Stop thinking, Orkin. Save your thinking for later. <laughs> no, oh my me. god, he did! Ah. Oh my god! Seven winners. Wow. Bravo to you guys. Looks like a dumb move to me. I'm, or maybe I'm dumb. Wow. Why would you do that? I, I <laughs> don't know. Yeah, night C6 and I'm too late. Because I was flabbergasted. Okay, yeah. so what's now? Well, I guess B4 is the natural move. Yeah, it is. It's, it's obvious. B4. 
I don't even know what stock for uh, La llama de obvio. Nada es obvio, Mike. Really? Hmm. Before is natural, I agree. I don't know what the point was of Bishop Tate's work. <laughs> why would you want to leave a rook on F1? Oh, because he's worried about... That's why he's worried about the double attack on F2. But he's got a bishop of G3. I, I, I don't know, man. And, and Black very quickly relinquished any thought of going to D3, too, like you had mentioned, Sasha. Yeah. Oh. Well, because he has a much juicier uh, target, uh, G4. Yeah. That's a problem. Oh, and that's why knight b5 is maybe a good move here, huh? Yes, to play knight b5 and then b4. So you keep yeah. uh, you, your square on g4 protected. But still, uh, black can play rook g8, and still, uh, well, he will have to play rook g8 because rook is attacked on the b8 by a bishop. Yeah, yeah that's the I'm lucky rook to still be ahead. Holy mother Oof. of God, that's, this see. is tough. Well, Rook D8 will happen now. And Nainad and I will have that. Yep. And then what? Then, like he said, B4. B4. Yeah, what else? Yeah. So, Dravsen in Star has been very sharp with his analysis today. Huh. That will be interesting. The first thing is bishop f8, believe it or not. Why not to fight uh, for d4? Oh, we need a bishop e7. Oh, Leonard and I had that. Isn't that amazing? And so did Jerry. Wow. Hmm. Really amazing. Amazing. And Fernando. Yeah. Can you hear the drums, Fernando? <laughs> <laughs> well, c5. Candidato maestro, Fernando Sorio. Yeah. Maestro. Okay. Why not a6 now? Room g3, another option. Shall be a6. No! You won't room d3. Oh. And Nainad <laughs> had that. <laughs> and ah, not wow. Not Bravo, Nainad. Nainad. Absolutely. <laughs> Wow. Wow. So there are two options now. Queen C4, Queen C1. Okay, Queen C4 was done. And then what? Hmm. Wow. I, I would play a6 without any hesitation, and it was done. Well, they not had that one too. Mm. No, somehow, somehow, after bishop d1, white's position is becoming, it's like a downhill. Yeah. Well, here you're moving out here, right? That was a mistake, Bark, and why the hell did he go there? You won. Yeah, it appears to make some kind of a strange... Son of a gun, man! Why did he do that? And he took so long on, on moves that didn't matter, and this one matters, and he played it too fast. And now he's going to lose. Son of a gun. Now it's a choice taken with the pawn or with the bishop. 57 the points behind Nainan. Nainan. And, uh, okay, all right, buddy. It's going to be a battle. Ah, jeez. Well, 
получил только two bishops, but both of the both are very two lousy pieces. One on g3 doing nothing, and one is on d1, where the rook supposed to be a long time ago. Doesn't make sense to me. Victor, what do you think? What's happening in this position? Oh, he, could, he could take the pawn at a3. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Without any punishment. And and and, and he is going to do that. And Nainat is going to have that. And I'm not because I went with knight d4. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Another uh, was good move. Queen d5. Also in, in the hints. Interesante. Dama de cinco, sí. Dude, I don't like losing like this. Oh boy. Yeah, it's all started with this bishop d1, really strange move to Yeah, me. yeah, and totally changed the complexion of the game. Here. Torre por atrás, la ramba, eso que da ventaja cara, ¿no? Well, I've got hope because he's taking time. I mean, I'm really surprised he's looking at this. Maybe knight d4 will be played. Well, right now it's the only hint. I honestly didn't notice that the uh, pawn at a3 was hanging. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I also didn't notice that. That's true. En la punta están los dos ganadores de ayer. Neymar Robo y Mikey Hoffer. Así que bueno, peligrosos, peligrosos están los dos. Edgar Rivas, Solo de Michenko, Maxi, Sacha también, que ganó, tuvo de quinto ayer, estaba de sexto. Muy bien, vamos a ver. Oh, now Rook H3 came back as the first hint. Está andando como mejor caballo de cuatro. Valoración. Pensando profundamente en el gran maestro Alexander Bordín, creo que va a encontrar una dura dura. Ya, yeah, Bordín está taking his time. He doesn't want to screw this position. Uh, Rook H3 now is the first hint. I don't see anything wrong with this. Well, the, well, the problem with that is Bishop oh, B3. Bishop B3. Bishop B3. And, and the taking it F7. That's mm -hmm. what the problem was. The problem was the allowing white to get in Bishop B3 and Queen takes F7. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, uh... Oh, and I'm in the lead! <laughs> Yeah, maybe oh, dude, I don't, I don't, I don't want to like brag on here, but I'm very happy oh, about that. We know. A4. Wow. No, look. Yeah. Wow, Badur Jabam is online. Hmm. Whoa. All right then. Oh, what will Black do now? Well, knight d5, and he will come alive. Yeah, uh, agree. And, but b5 is uh, looking good too. Yeah. Kind of stops you in, in your tracks. Yeah, one of those moves. But 95 probably stronger move. The favorite move of ASM Fish. <laughs> hmm. Which one? 95? Yep. So. There are good chances that 95 indeed will be played. Yeah. Well, interesting. We'll find out in the very next move. Knight h5 is a very strange move. Yeah. What? Do that. You're trying to exchange one of the white uh, bishops. What the hell is that? The, they're not threatening you, especially Bishop on D1. 
And even on G3, it's not that great piece. It's protecting G6 power. It doesn't do much else. Maybe Orkins looked deeper into this position than any of us, and he realizes he's the bishop's going to be needed at C2 momentarily to get the rook to go away. <laughs> <laughs> He'd let in. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. <laughs> After the game, we'll ask him about that. <laughs> you know, now, knight h5 is very close in evaluation to knight d5, so it's very interesting. Obviously, black, black is uh, in good shape here and have a luxury of taking his time and figure out what to do. Yeah. Victor, what do you think about this? Well, it's not easy. I know that the knight of five is going to be very careful with the knight of seven. He's thinking deeply about the Grand Macro Bornit. I like the knight of five. I think it's a very logical move, looking at the ability in B4. Y bueno, después buscar algo ahí para, para intentar golpear allí el alfil de G3, que defiende el fondo de D6, no sé, quizás caballo H5 podría ser una idea futuro. Pero no sé, no sé, caballo de 5 no la veo tan, tan, tan clara, ¿no? Simplemente da, puede, pueden generarse temas con el peón de D y no creo que, que sea tan fácil ver. Dice la, el motor que la jugada más clara, pero no creo, no creo. Uf, una vez que fue Oh, muy bien, muy bien. No estaba fácil de verdad para Mena, nada. Dale. Keeping the pressure up, Nena. <laughs> well, maybe your idea, Bishop C2, is about time to play. <laughs> yeah. Uf. Raros movimientos. No me parece que, que vayan a hacer... De verdad, los solamente no me parecen claros, ¿no? Así que, de verdad que este, este es el tipo de posiciones donde, donde el humano se equivoca fácilmente. Vamos a ver qué pasa. No. He really needs to do that too, but he might be worried about the knight e2 check, but even on knight e2 check, black's not going to bag the bishop. The knight's too strong. Well, uh, h3 actually uh, um, it's preparing bishop g4 with queen c8 ideas. Maybe maybe that's the way to play it. Because white is getting worse and worse with each move. So maybe now it's a time to, to do something. Vamos a Mikey en el primer lugar, vamos Mikey, vamos. El carta está siguiendo, nena, peligroso ahí. Solo Dimchenko, Maxi, Maxi, eh, Marian Tudorachet, Fernando Osorio y Montero ahí, pegados, pegados y peligrosos. Well, ok, Bishop C2 was played indeed. Ok, Knight C2 is possible for sure. B5 is definitely first king here. Knight e2 okay. check. Yes, I like that too. But I would, I would try to still play b5 first. I think b5 is such a kind of a annoying move. Blocks your pawns. Asking. I don't see what B5 does, and, and Stockfish loves it. I just don't see that it's that great. No, but it, it's kind of a, it, blo it blocks. It gets Queen out of the C file for, for, for starters. It block, blocks Queen side. And then you can still play 92 next move. Right. B5, it, it B5, B5. B5. It it could could Claramente. Yeah. Yeah, I might be wrong on this one. It might be. You can play b5 with a knight on d4. If you will play check first, then b5 doesn't work anymore. Yeah, okay, I get it. You're right. I'm wrong. I'm going to lose on this one. 
You think so? Yeah, it is going to be V5. Well, you'll, you'll see it that. What else should play? V5, you're going to play Clara. And now, well, but it can be an idea. No pasa nada, no? So I thought Arkin was just going to take it, but I guess Queen C5 is an interesting option. Well, I, I would take first and then see what's happening. Because obviously Black will retake his pawn, and then you can still decide whether to play Queen C5 or something else. Okay. So yeah. now I'm at the I totally missed the sequence there. All right, so Queen C5, Knight takes C2. Yeah, but how can you pre how can you prevent it? Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, it looks like it's only move. Okay, now now you can take on C2. Yep. And, and now you can learn about something, bishop, your lousy bishop on uh, g3. Todo se ha ido bastante, bastante fácil. Ya, aquí gana un material con caballo por y no pasa nada. Yeah, that was the payoff. All right. I Oof. missed all that. <sighs> it's oh, it's, it's like oh. before now it's, it's winning position for black or close to it. Yep. So he'll go to C7, I guess. Try to oh, get sure. that pawn rolling. And get behind the other one. I mean, there's some practical chances, actually. It's not that it's completely lost, but it's much worse position for, for white. Okay, that's done. Well, what else we can do here? Page okay, seven looks like it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, for start, hey. increíble esta posición, de verdad que. Están tratando allí de seguir. Okay, there's a choice between rook e1 and h3. I think it's about time Orkin moved that rook. <laughs> well, he tied up the rook and bishop to protect pawn on f2, but nobody attacks it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 38 moves before he moved the rook. Again, h3 comes in. Always. <laughs> Always. H3 I mean, is a move. But what happened with the move for uh, Queen E7? Why it was rejected by uh, Stockfish? Good question. Well, si de verdad propone cosas que, bueno, a veces no no es tan fácil verlas, pero pero esta posición como que está bastante bastante simple, ¿no? Vamos a ver, 2,480 cron el pote. Vamos, vamos. Un golpe se da aquí increíble, man. De manera más muy sólido allí. No tan alejado de Edgar y, y de Nat como debería estarlo, pero bueno, tiene una buena posición allí y las jugadas son bastante claras, que es lo bueno, más Yo muy, muy mal. Menos 74 cromos. Eh, me parece que, que, que aquí cualquier movimiento ya podría ser. No, H3 parece muy lógico, Torre 1 también. Pero... No Torre está tan uno. sencillo. Torre E1, bueno, puede ser. Sí, señor. Pero bueno, cualquier movimiento puede ser realizado en, en este Take momento. Only move. H3, yeah. un wow. excelente no, H3. Sad, sad, sad. All of Baku is crying about that one. <laughs> yeah, that was not good. The five works well. Oh, uh, muy rápido. No pude pensar con calma que. No, to play. No, they not had that. Or did he? Yeah, he did. No. All right. Yeah, now what to play? Good question. Oh, 
queen b7 or what queen d8, queen b8. Yeah. yeah. Queen c6 could get the whole pool, but I think queen b7 makes the most most sense. Okay. This all started with bishop d1, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> that bishop is no longer in the game. <laughs> yeah. so, so his career was bishop e2, bishop d1, and bishop c2. Yeah, he had yeah. a very sad life. <laughs> he, he died so young that we are all crying for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so? Okay, so now what? Knight c3 looks pretty good. And knight f4 is not so strong. What yeah, knight c3 Wait. for sure. Knight c3 is coming, yeah. Ah, ha ha, take that, Nanad. <laughs> what to do now? I'm running out of ideas. What to play? Oh, uh, that, uh, he needs to move Eugenio Torre to uh, A Uno someday. Eugene, uh, E1. He wants to do it. It's Oh, look you won, finally! Yay! Need a tambourine for that one. <laughs> All right, and E3. Boom. Yeah, it's... Oh, Incredible! Oof! Durissima! Oh boy. Oof. Yeah, I was about to say that. Vamos, Mike, vamos, Mike. Gracias, gracias. Well, it looks like we should take on E3. It looks ugly, but I don't know what else to do with this. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of time to resign, isn't it? Mm, eh, it will last another five, six months. Well, queen e7, see the problem is that uh, the idea of uh, perpetual queen h4 and queen d8 doesn't work because black has queen h5. Yeah, it's getting uglier and uglier with uh, each move. Okay. Rook G2, why not Rook G2 now? F6. Wow. Why F6? Yeah, I know. Stockfish. It's funny. Yeah, stockfish. Yeah, that's <laughs> and funny. it's... Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, Nanad missed that. I missed it. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Wow. Very strange move, that. Definitely, uh, the engines loved it. Yeah, I thought Rook G2 was kind of uh, obvious. But it's still difficult to play for white, even, even with F6. Uh, H2, so to get the king at least out of trouble. Because um, yeah. black pieces are very active, so there, there could be a mating attack. Yeah, it looks like the only useful move, actually. Okay, uh, queen c7 possible and queen e7. Okay, those moves are trying to. I don't know what they're trying because. Because, well, queen e7 actually has some merits because you may chance to take e4. This is the, honest, the toughest part of the contest, trying to figure out what the dying, desperate guy is going to do. And it usually <laughs> determines who wins. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> what do you do when you're about to die? Well, maybe you play king h7. 
H H two. Yeah. Or you will ask uh, for a nice uh, New York steak uh, to have. <laughs> before yeah. Yeah. You'll die. Muy difícil aquí ya, de verdad que toda la jugada muy, muy incómoda, ¿no? Muy, muy difícil. Si le hace cuatro. No hay un movimiento que pueda darse allí contraria. Oh, there is a king bishop at four which we didn't look for. That just gets g5. And then he's got to go right back. I looked at that. And it makes no sense. So Orkin would not do that. Yeah, but it's uh, it's a theory of a dying man. Dying man may just as well play <laughs> Rupert before. Because he's dying anyway, so why not? Uh, Ludwin is wondering about F6. Everyone is wondering about F6. F6, so you can play G5 if white plays bishop F4. Yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, maybe F6 is uh, in a kind of in the style of uh, uh, Magnus Carlsen, just trying to restrict um, all white pieces here. That must have been what the engines thought, because the engines loved it. Uh -huh. sí, te están comentando en el chat que, que, que Borning ha jugado Blitz con, con Magnus Carlsen y las partidas están en YouTube. Eh, también incluso una cosa que... que eh. ¡Uf! ¡Oh! Two big winners. Sí. Wow. Well done. Yeah. I dodged the bullet. Jeez. Okay, but Black is still in commanding post. Oh, that was quick. Knight e4. So what to do now? Jeez. Well, white and uh, knight e4 in another bullion bond. 300 crowns. Oh, wow. Isn't that something? Yeah. Yeah, very surprising. Eh, otra cosa que, que iba a comentar, eh, ah, no sé si viste el torneo que están jugando Orochenko, este, el, el, el de club europeo, hizo tablas contra... Sometimes contra I really Carlsen. do hate it when I'm right. Qué eh, bueno, muy fuerte eh, Alexander Orochenko, ¿no? Good thing that uh, Bortnik moved that so quickly because uh, there was only 300 crowns in the pool. So, yeah, yeah. That could have been a huge game for Nanad. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> so it looks like Rook F1 is the only reasonable option. I mean, that is still way better, but. Uh, what else to do? Yeah, that was played. Jesus Christ. Then I took the lead. Good job. Torre F1. Oof, rapid, see? That was obvious, no? Jesus Christ. I, I could have caught up on that, and I was too slow. All of a sudden, Borton explained super fast. I went with D7 on the last move, and now he's going to play it here. Maybe. No, he's not. Oh, man. I, I'm just drifting now. I just screwed up again. I should have just left it alone. There is no move for white, though. Now, I wonder why there's a, a whole point difference between uh, d7 and bishop e1. d7 is not a move that... He did it, thank God. 
Wow, there's hope. Contest in the balance. What will happen? Well, he's going to take it, right? Of course he is. Why not? Máquinas se pasaron, increíble. Último momento. Uf, qué mal, qué mal, qué mal. Qué mal, Balcón. Último momento, bueno. Se han pasado varios, varios, varios cortes así. Oh, I should have gone with that. I was checking. Ah, oh, man, that could have sealed the contest, too, maybe. I really didn't think he would trade coins. Uh, no point. Now knight c3. Maybe. Yeah, knight c3, uh, family fork. Why would you pass that up? For some reason, I thought queen is queen e7. I don't know why. Man, I shouldn't have chickened out in that last one, though. No way Orkin was going to trade queens. I'm managing it despite myself, despite being slow and having doubts. And I know Orkin pretty well. I should have just jumped on that one. It seems Nanad knows Zobortnik pretty well. <laughs> Uh, knight c3. What is he waiting for? Why is he playing all those fast moves? And Well, I guess he's got the luxury now. Orkin's down to three minutes. Bravo, Orkin. By wasting your clock. Uh. Oh, my. Whoa. Where the hell did he come from? Ah! <laughs> Bravo, Jesus. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's just <laughs> ridiculous. Wow. Wow. Well, back-to-back, uh, -back, no winners. This is, re this is amazing. This is quite incredible. Wow, what a... Um, Queen C4. No, three no winners in a row. I don't think we've ever seen that. Wow. Okay, I know where I'm going. Yeah, I'm very interested in development. Very, very interesting. Okay, Orkin's sh short on time. Guy's short on time. Off and go with the checks. We got three no winners in a row. 3,300 in the pool. Here's the contest right here on Chess Stars. This move. Or you or can you kill me? <laughs> yes! 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 But it's not enough to catch Jesus now. <laughs> King G8 is a high probability. <laughs> yep, you will put 100 crowns on it. <laughs> and now what does is, what is White do? Oh, uh, yeah, I think I think it all makes sense, doesn't it? Queen G4, sure. Okay, so we got the game going now. All right. Boom! Okay, so we got the game. Got the game. What does H4 do? Why would, what? I guess it has some. Wow, okay. Tactical merits. Yeah, it's, it's desperation. Well, you were trying. What the dying man is going to do? Here is an answer. <laughs> All right, I, I need a big crown move here. So I'm going to go with knight c5. Mm-hmm. Yes! Wow! Yes! Yes! Oh, my! Woo-hoo! Oh, 
Whoa, this is this is cool. <laughs> Whoa. Now what does he do about this queen trade thing? He's not gonna trade queens. So is he gonna bury his queen h three or is he gonna play rook f four? Hmm. I'm going Rick F4. Yeah, I guess you're right. Fernando Osorio, I hate you. Ah, I almost chose Queen H3, though. Jose, wow. Excel. Wow. Okay, Jose. Okay. Actually, Queen H3 was my first feeling to duck, but then and I And we got three winners. Jose yeah, Vasquez. Including Marty. And Ruth uh, Mariela. Oh, wow, the game is becoming... Actually, now, all of a sudden, we have a very interesting game. Yeah, very interesting what he's going to play now. I took a we, uh, we got Marion to the Russian now in third place, believe it or not. Uh, Jesus Diaz in first, Michael Hopper, Marion to the Russian, Edgar Rivas, Nina Drabulia, Fernando Astoria, Solodon Chinta, and Matsi Leon. There are the leaders. Bravo. Victor, what do you think about this position? De verdad que muy, 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 muy resistente el amigo Abdulo de este final ha aguantado muy, muy valientemente. Está en una posición muy difícil de hace tiempo, así que gran mérito para... ¡Boom! ¡Boom! Para... ¡Boom! ¡Boom! ¡Ja, ja! ¡Wow! ¡Eh, no, no! ¡Es en first place now! ¡Excelente! ¡Esto es hilarious! ¡Wow! This is hilarious. Well done. Yeah. And again, Lucky. very quickly played, and there are some winners Michael Hofer, Marian Pudaracha, Ruth, Mariela Ferrer, La Barca, and Marty Hirsch. Bravo. Congratulations to all winners. The game going on. Working, running out of time. Bueno, Mai, vamos, Mai, vamos. Hoy es tu día, Mai. Hoy sí. Gracias, gracias. Para que respeten. Yeah. <laughs> bueno, bueno, la verdad que ahora sí que están muy, muy graves problemas. What the hell is he wasting time for? Check him. First, Check, please. Two, then ask the question. He doesn't know the rules of the game. Yeah, I swear to God, Orkin. Or, you know, and I hate that because that's my, my big problem, too, uh, managing my time. Uh, it really is painful to see other people do it, especially when I like the guy. I like Orkin, and he's not giving himself any chance whatsoever. He gave up an open yeah. file today for no reason, and then he mainly gambited his time. Those two things killed him. I think Bishop G1 killed you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Else. yeah, when he could have just taken a foul. But thank you, Orkin, for Queen C7. So I, I love you again. <laughs> no, King G8 is obvious to me. Yep. And it was played. Oh, the game is still going on. Look at that. Ah, I almost grabbed that. I should have. It's the only thing that makes sense. I don't know why I'm stuck in thought. I, 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 I'm just dumb sometimes. So the king's going back to h7 to stop all the uh, tomfoolery with the checks. And then what does Orkin do? Oh, you know, I know what he does. I think. Bueno, bueno. Yeah, vamos, he plays H5. Mm. plays H5. Yeah, it's absolutely right. No, he does not Oh, Fernando Osorio, Sacha. <laughs> Nava, Nava Star. Bravo, Nava. Nava. Uh, well, I will do the dishes today after this move. Oh, Queen E2 is deadly. Oh, yeah. Boom. Very move, move, move. Well. No, that's resignable. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll accept that. <laughs> okay, he did all this to play H5. 
So play H5 and then resign, or can then I can win the contest, please. <laughs> Come on, be a real friend. <laughs> He's being a real friend when the clock run out too. That'll that'll work. <laughs> oh please. He's not gonna do that, is he? No. Alright. Well, yes! Yes! It has finally happened again! God Michael bless the Soviet Hoffer. authorities. Let me call these guys. I want Orkan to explain move Bishop D1, please. Yeah, yeah, let's get him. And we'll see if the other guy's busy again. No, no, board working doesn't feel good today. Oh, okay, so. we won't bother him. I'm looking for, where, where did Orkin go? Orkin, where, I can't find him. I just talked to him yesterday. I guess I gotta type his name in again. Hold on. Working, working man, and calling him now. I got him. I got him. Wow! What a game! What a yeah, game. that was exciting. It was very exciting, uh, but after Bishop G1, I think uh, it became a little bit one-sided from that point on. Well, it's ringing. I'm going I'm to also message him on Facebook to take the darn call. Let's see. Orkin always has his Facebook open. Uh. It's late there. He's probably tired. He's lost. Oh, no, no, no. That's no excuse, you man. Know. Well, okay. <laughs> that's no excuse. Working as a sportsman. Okay. Uh, so let's see if we will start from the beginning. And we'll do some moves. So far, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, because, uh, you know, if, if you and I did the analysis on this, Sasha, you and I are going to agree 100%. But what does this move rook b1? What, if, what does it do? If anybody knows what's the purpose, to play b4? Yeah, that's a good question, too. That's a very good question. And my call failed again. Wow. Uh, he cannot hear you. He wrote to me that he doesn't hear you. Wow. How come? Uh, Maybe he has speakers. Right? Oh, okay. Orkin, you're in the call. Oh, wow. I'll try this one last time. Oh. No. Hello. Hey, there he is. All right, Orkin. Orkin, you may, you, you, thank you for helping me win the contest, uh, and uh, thank you for an exciting game, but... We have some questions. We have some questions for you. Why did you yeah, take with the bishop instead of the rook on d1? I didn't. So I didn't so about. Okay. Okay. So in this position. Yeah, I need. Yeah, I need Okay. Can you get into game review? Не, я просто сделал обновит. Сейчас ничего не видно, понял здесь. Ah. Okay. Um, so Orkin has logged out of the chess site, so no, we can't obviously do anything with the pieces or the board. Hmm. He's left I, the chess. I, he's left the chess site. Are you on site or not, Orkin? Can no, you he's look? Left. Okay, I got it on the board though. You see now, Orkin? Are, are you on chess stars right now? Yes. No. Can you can yes, you the board? Reload your page. Yeah, reload your page, Orkin. Refresh. Okay. You had a really good game today. You were doing really, really well. I wasn't quite sure why you played Rook B1. Okay, sir. And 
I play Bishop takes D1. Yeah. Yeah. Because after Rook takes D1, don't have any. Now G4, F2, boom. Okay. It's not yeah. so. It's not. So, for example, get one Rook to eat. No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We figured you were worried yeah, about that. Bishop takes D1. He play. I don't know. You see? Yeah, yeah, we see. Yes. Hello? Yeah, we can, Hello? We can hear you and see you. Keep no, going. He, he, want, he want bishop before, and I have here, I have only I think. First, I won't play b4, but then he play bishop d4. Okay, I think knight b5 is the move. Um, yeah, knight b5 was a good move. At this point, you were much better. Hmm. I think it's about even position. I don't think that white is bad. I think it's an even game. Well, yeah, you, you might be right. Rook d8, b4, bishop e 7 I think here he have good position. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I like White's position here. It's I, not I, as well I, as if you had taken with a rook, but... He won't play a6 and uh, my knight won't play. Play c5. Rook d3 was a good move. You see? That hurts. c yeah. After oh, there it is. Ninety six losing move. Ninety six losing move. Yeah, that was. A yeah, you go back to c three, you're fine. Looks oh, nice. I don't want to play very passive. Maybe here. But you had five. to. It's box. He should take five. Twenty five. And uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We should three. Yeah. Okay. I play here 96. Yeah. 66. Yeah, I think you played that too fast. 66. No, I don't have any move. Okay. Okay. I why he didn't play Rook Oh, because of Bishop B3 and you're threatening Queen takes F7. Bishop B3, maybe knight. Yeah, H5. Bishop B3, and you're threatening a queen takes F7 check. Okay, for example, this move, maybe. Or, or for, for, wait, wait, Yeah, you wait, take wait, over the knight. board. Knight D7. I don't know. This is good for white, I think. I You're smart not strong. to take. Okay, here, why I play if I don't understand? Because you don't want to take my pawn. But you won't play b5. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. I don't, I don't, I didn't find any move here. Agreed, yeah. But I play here, e4. Something nice. happened uh, uh, around the last few moves because Bortnik wrote to me that uh, he was happy to win the game, but at the opening, uh, he was not too happy about his position. So what's happened? At what point the uh, white's position starts to go down? Openings? Openings, theoretical openings. No, no, he says that, uh, he, uh, that white was better in the opening. And yes. then, yes, something happened. So maybe it was rook b1, maybe it was not the best move. Maybe bishop g1 was not the best. I don't know, at some point, some... White position became uh, kind of a, a critical. A yeah, um, yeah, Orkin, what was your idea behind? Let's go back to here. Uh, Rook b1 on move 15. Well, to play b4, probably. Uh, before bishop takes b4? Yeah, no, okay. so you wanted to play b4, okay. Because it never ended up happening uh, for a while. Peter b4? Yeah, maybe you had a better move here, is what I was thinking. But again, Stockfish is saying h3. h3 is ridiculous. I liked rook e1. I, I, I thought the fact that you never got your rook in the game until move 38 might have mattered. I, I played bishop, uh, bishop f3 for, for 
Group B1, B4, B5, it's typical position almost. But A3, I don't know. You know, the more I look at this, you played a good, honest game, and suddenly everything just slipped away. Okay, here, here, I think uh, Black have put the position 95. Okay. Yeah, and already white, yeah, yeah. white suffering here. That's, no, he, he, I, I want, first I won't play e5, but I see when I play e5, he played knight c3. Yeah. And yeah. winning and win, me. Unpleasant. Well, Orson, sure. thank you anyway. You gave us an exciting weekend. I thought you played really well, and uh, you're always available for the calls. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, and um, it was really a good game. And yesterday was a good game, and today. Yeah, it's very so good. Long. Yeah. Thank, thank you, everybody, and bye bye, and see you next week. Bye bye. Thank bye -bye. you, Sasha. Thank you, Murray. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Orkin. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye now. Thanks, everyone.